Welcome back. So starting out the week, uh, Jeff's hard at it with uh, sanding there, and as you can see, he's underneath the wing there, just working on the transition between the strake and the uh, rear of the wing. And I've moved over onto the foreplane and uh, starting to get some things sorted out here with the pitot tube. So I've got the heater box there uh, installed and just being bonded into place, or at least the uh, mounting screws. And uh, here's the pitot tube itself. So I'm just going to use a Dremel there and just uh, trim off these uh, aluminum tubes there that are for one for the actual pedo and the other one for the angle of attack and both of those just run the air pressure uh, back to the uh, GS, GSU 25 yeah, um, back in the cabin and so one gives the airspeed and the other one gives the angle of attack so I'm just uh, trimming those off with the Dremel and uh, then I'll clean them up and sort of deburr them and ultimately uh, they'll have the um, just some of that regular um, plastic tubing quarter inch uh, ID tubing connected to those and then it'll run up through uh, the foreplane there and then made up onto uh, the firewall or sorry not the firewall the forward bulkhead where I got the little through holes there for um, the pedo AO, AOA angle attack and also the static lines there and you'll see that when that all gets connected up uh, in the not too distant future. And there I'm just using a little round file just to clean off any burr on the inside there from cutting it with a Dremel. And then ultimately uh, I took the air gun and blew it out from, from the front of the tube to make sure uh, you know nothing stayed in there. So looking at the mounting posts there for the pedo tube, you see I've got the red uh, hose there that's for the pedo and then the clear one is for the angle of attack and they just feed back there and uh, then I've got the heater line there and the heater box and I've also run the antenna line there for um, the nav antenna and also just pulled a bit of welding wire. See that one, that one's the, the antenna wire that comes out through the conduit halfway and then the other bit of welding wire just run that through to the end and that's going to actually be pulling the wires through there for uh, the GMU 11 magnetometer uh, once the floor plane is fully installed. So here I moved on and uh, got the holes cut there in the uh, remaining ribs there for this side for the push rod uh, for the elevator control and just got that sort of temporary hook, temporarily hooked up to the linkage there and we're getting the right amount of throw as per the CAD so that's all good. Still a few things to do with respect to that. And we also have to do um, some load testing that Mark wants to make sure that those brackets there that are holding the bell cranks are not uh, um, deforming or moving at all once the uh, whole system is sort of loaded up. Uh, so we still have to do that. And uh, here I'm just putting some of the uh, nuts on there just in preparation for uh, moving the foreplane back over onto the aircraft for a quick fit. And so here it is uh, on the nose again and the idea here is to get this guy sorted out or at least soon sorted out. So I um, have to drill a hole in that plate there and then ultimately trim that plate down to size. It doesn't need to be that big and uh, get it all lined up and then and eventually you know once we've got everything in place drill the holes through there and mount the hardware to hold that in place so that puts that into double shear and makes it stronger. And uh, here these um, doors there for the main gear and now that I've got those hard points in there I'm just drilling the holes through uh, all the way through the skin and I've just got a little aluminum block there that I've used before or something similar just to make sure when I drill the holes through they're totally perpendicular to that FR4 hard point and uh, you know that way I, know, I make sure that you know when we go to bolt things in the bolts all go straight uh, through into the brackets that are now uh, bolted onto the gear leg. If you look way in the background there on the right hand corner you can see those um, that I showed them last time. And I didn't get to show it but uh, I was in on Saturday just briefly and, and just put some resin in around those hard points there uh, after I had the, uh, the five minute in there and that allowed those things to sort of be bedded in and allow the resin to run underneath. Um, the FR4. So now drilling these through is going through you know both skins there through the FR4 which was already drilled and through the outer skin and so the next thing to do is uh, you know fill the rest of that with some um, flocks and resin mix and then do the layups uh, over the top of them. 
And here I'm doing the same thing on those uh, larger door parts. Uh, just drilling these through. Now these didn't get any resin on them uh, yet. Just got the um, five minute holding them into place. So the trick for when we go and do the layups on those, and we same on the other ones, we just basically fill the holes with some clay. And this way the hole doesn't get sort of filled up with resin. And then ultimately once the layup's done, we come from the other side, from you know the outer side of the skin, and re-drill the hole uh, back through uh, the newly inside laid up uh, bit of carbon fiber. That way you don't sort of lose your hole uh, while you're you know doing your layup. So um, that's good that uh, those are just about ready to lay up. And uh, here's Devin and I just working on exactly that. So I got a mixture there of uh, resin with uh, flocks in there, and flocks you know adds a lot of strength to the resin mix. And just a little bit of cabosil in there just to make it sort of so it's less runny, a little bit more smooth. And um, I'm just sort of buttering in around those uh, FR4 hard points creating a sort of fairly smooth transition for where the cutout was and then Devin's just going ahead and doing the layups um, over the top of that and then ultimately you know we just peel plied them as well so there's not much clean up work to do once it's all uh, set up so uh, that's the gear door is pretty much done for um, any of the um, work there putting the hard points in. There's still some stuff I have to do with the retraction mechanism for the lower part of the doors on these and I've worked it out in CAD uh, but just still need to create the, the little bracketry and stuff for that. So uh, this is what it looks like after those uh, four pieces have been um, laid up on the inside there and all peel plied ready to um, have the peel ply taken off uh, in the morning. And now we're on to this morning and I'm uh, working on these doors again so I've taken off the peel ply and now I'm just working around the edges of the flanges there and just taking off uh, any excess carbon fibre that sort of ran down onto the edges there which would um, sort of stop that door from sitting in nicely against the flanges on the fuselage. So just a little bit of clean up work, not too much. And back on the foreplane, one of the last sort of remaining involved jobs that was on the list was to create um, sort of a mounting point here for the forward spar that's in the foreplane. And so ultimately what I've got here, I've got some uh, material that I've pulled off of the um, spar that we laid up by mistake or had the mistake in it way back when. And I've cut out a section of that so I've got this big L channel there that you can see on either side. And that's going to get bonded in to there on on the uh, nose gear thing with a layup and then uh, also get bonded in to the inside there of the skin of the nose and that'll give us something to bolt up to and you'll see more on that here shortly and uh, Jeff and Devin got these elevators now um, with the next round or the final round of uh, primer so those are done so basically all the control surfaces now have been done rudders uh, ailerons and elevators and um, just on to finishing off the wings and the fuselage and so here's Jeff again he's just working on that leading edge of the straight there where the um, where the seam was and uh, you know working on sanding um, where he did to fill in that uh, seam and uh, here I'm working on those blocks there so that's one of them there it's just like an L channel piece and it's just gonna really beef up that uh, cross section there of the nose and as I said, give us somewhere to bolt up that forward spar in the foreplane and give it an, an anchor point. Otherwise, it's just kind of floating there and it really needs to be anchored. And Jeff's on the other side now. He's working on the actual seam between the upper and lower parts of the fuselage. He's uh, filled that a little while ago, I think, it, or at least, at least did a partial fill. And just sort of smoothing that out. So work has sort of officially begun on the, uh, the fuselage as well as the wings. So that's good. We don't have too many more days left uh, before we have to move up to the airport. So we need to get all this body work done. And uh, here's uh, Devin and I working on these um, brackets there. What we're doing is uh, just setting up there, just laying down some paper in case we spill. Didn't want to get sort of uh, resin and flux mix on any of the stuff in the nose there. So what we're doing is just putting some resin and flux mix there in um, where these brackets are sort of made up on either side 
to the f inside of the fuselage and also there those nose gear brackets and uh, this is just enough sort of like instead of doing five minute you know we decided to you know just do the heavyweight stuff first and uh, let that set up overnight and then we can pull the foreplane out of there because uh, it'll just slides up uh, out of the way after that and uh, once that's out the way we can actually do the proper layups you know do the remaining fill using um, you know resin flux mix and then we're going to do six layups or six plies of our medium weight uh, carbon fiber on both sides just kind of wrapping it around uh, those brackets there to sort of tie them in uh, heavily so they're not going to move around well we don't want, obviously not going to move around but um, you know so they there's a good structure in there and this way that basically ties that whole nose area together and and puts um, a good you know strong support area there for that forward um, spar in the foreplane and there'll be two bolts that are going through there on the very outer edges there just inside of the skin and they'll have sleeves in them as well um, sort of as a bushing and uh, that'll help support um, those so you don't want it to bolt it in the middle you need that spar to be able to flex a little bit as the foreplane flexes under load so there's just two points there that they'll pivot around um, or at least the whole thing will pivot around and Devin's removed these gear brackets here to get those painted so he's got the just etch primer on those uh, initially and he's also going to be painting those black so they match the gear legs and uh, there's the one that just picked up from Brit this is for the new thing that you haven't seen yet which is going to be the mechanism that uh, opens the nose gear doors uh, and closes the nose gear doors and uh, that's the cross brace there that goes in the nose and that just had an extra couple of ears welded to that for that um, thing but you'll see that coming up uh, in the next episode I think and uh, Devin also got these uh, holes there and the doors there sort of countersunk there for the Tinnaman washers that are going to uh, be used to hold those on same with these ones there because uh, you just don't want to put regular screws there they'll pull through eventually even though it's carbon fiber and FR4 you need to have a little bit of metal support and um, yeah Jeff's made quite a lot of progress here um, in the last couple of days on sanding here on the wings still got more uh, to do but uh, getting close to being able to take the wings off and uh, do the last bit of finish work on those and then uh, just finish off on the fuselage and the doors going to come off here soon as well and get their finish work done on their skins after all the little dimples and stuff in there and uh, as you can see Devin's got those now um, sprayed in black gloss so uh, those are ready to be, or they'll be ready to go back on again and uh, there's the other one there's the cross brace that goes in the, oh no actually that's the one for the uh, intake and you'll see later on that you've seen before and that's the one for the cross brace in the nose and uh, finally uh, this is all setting up now so uh, tomorrow we'll be able to take that four plane out of place and, um, and then go and do the final layups on that and then drill the holes and and uh, go ahead and uh, you know get the bushings and stuff put in there and that'll be that job all done and out of the way so that's our update for the first half of this week and thanks again for watching and tune in again on saturday and uh, see what we get up to